Again tonight with breaking news. DCF investigators have just released some new information about the case of Janiah Thomas. She is the little girl found dead in a freezer. Her mother had an extensive history with that agency. Eight on your side, investigator Mark Douglas has been poring over these very newly released documents. And Mark, what have you found? Well, this critical incident report shows that the child protection team in Manatee County made mistakes. They made very big mistakes, and they're making changes now in how they conduct business because of what happened to Janiah Thomas. Now, the last time investigators saw Janiya alive was in June of last year during an abuse investigation involving one of her four siblings. An investigation DCF now says was closed prematurely given the mother's 10-year history of abuse. When another abuse allegation surfaced this September involving Janiya's brother, things really started going wrong. The report determined the Florida Abuse Hotline failed to list all children reported to be living in the household, and the Manatee Sheriff's Office Child Protection Investigator failed to add Janiya to that investigation. The report found Janiya Thomas should have been considered a missing child when Kishana Thomas, her mother, did not present her to invest the investigator or provide the Manatee County Sheriff's Office information on her whereabouts. And it goes on to find child welfare partners in Manatee County never fully addressed the dangers and vulnerabilities with Kishana Thomas and her five children's household. So this report has prompted a dozen procedures and policy changes by the Manatee Sheriff's Office, the Safe Children Coalition, and the Youth and Family Services Organization. Those are the three agencies involved in overseeing all of this. But the one that really jumps off the page for me is that when any child is unaccounted for during an abuse investigation, the parent has 24 hours to confirm his or her location. Otherwise, a missing child alert goes out, something that did not happen for 21 days in the Janiah Thomas case, according to this just released report that came out less than two hours ago. Yeah, this is a lot to go through, and you've, you've digested as much as possible. But again, 24 hours should be 21 days is the reality. And we now know that Janiah was locked in this freezer, not in another state, as the mother had claimed early on. But what about the murder investigation? Where do we stand on that? I checked in with Bradenton police just in the last hour or so. They tell me it's still an open case, still an open murder investigation. In fact, the Bradenton Police Department investigators still don't know how this little girl died. They're still waiting on the cause of death from the medical examiner before they proceed forward. So that's still an open case. The mother, of course, is in jail on abuse charges. She's not going anywhere. Looks like a lot of blame to go around, according All to this report. All of this taking a long yeah. time, too. Thank you for staying yes. on top of Thanks, it. Mark. Mark.